hours. And new tonight, all 86 ICU beds are full in Southeast Texas. But we want to remind you guys, this isn't the first time that the ICU beds have been at capacity, Jordan. Yeah, still though tonight, both Jefferson County's judge and the Bowman Public Health Director are telling us they are concerned. 12 News investigator Lauren Hensley is with us live with the area's backup plan. Lauren. Yeah, Jordan and Dejanique, these are numbers we constantly monitor and the numbers of patients in ICU beds in Jefferson County, it has been running high recently, but now Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick and Beaumont Public Health Director Sherry Omer, they're using the word critical to describe the need here in Jefferson County. At Tuesday's Beaumont City Council meeting, an urgent message to leaders. We are at a point where we are extremely concerned about our health care system. And now Wednesday. All 86 of the ICU beds in Jefferson County is being occupied. Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brannick also sharing that concern. He says while the region is not at surge capacity yet, the county's backup facility, Mid-Jefferson Extended Care Hospital, is nearing capacity. Local hospitals have requested additional medical personnel and more EMTs from the state. They also want a mobile medical unit to meet the demand. We're working to make sure that there's another alternative if we've got Worst came to worst, we'd have to probably do something like a hotel, which would uh, still require that staffing, which is very difficult to find right now. And that's not the only troublesome trend. We have young people, 38 years old, who have been on ventilators for eight weeks. The average age for those testing positive continues to fall from 46 years old back in May to 38 years old today. They are recovering, but at a cost. They've thrown clots, they've had strokes, they've had to have amputations. They survived, but they're facing life-changing challenges. A very serious message there. Both Sherry Ulmer and Judge Brannick are encouraging people to avoid large crowds, practice social distancing, and wear a mask. Lauren Hensley, 12 News. All right.